Interscope Hearing Technologies has helped tens of thousands of hearing impaired consumers. And with me is the president and CEO of the company, Matthew Moore. So great to have you here, Matthew. Great to be here. Thank you for having me. So I was doing a little research. I didn't realize 48 million Americans have some form of hearing loss. Um, and that's something people should take seriously. So can you talk a little bit about what this could mean if that is left untreated? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, hearing loss, um, it really affects the whole body. There's a lot of health issues that go along with it. Like, for example, it is connected to even dementia and Alzheimer's. That if you, or if, you're, if you have hearing loss that's untreated, you're five times more likely to get dementia and Alzheimer's. It's also connected to heart disease, risk of falling, hospitalization, depression, even suicide. I mean, so really untreated hearing loss, a person can actually live three years less compared to someone that has hearing loss but is using amplification, aka hearing aids. Um, so, so that is where you know hearing loss really needs to be addressed and really needs to make sure that that people really take care of that when they are when they realize they actually have the hearing loss. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, that's interesting. And it makes sense. I mean, especially kind of the depression about it, because it's frustrating. It makes life more difficult just to live when you can't hear and communicate properly. So if there is such a wide problem, why are people avoiding getting treatment? Yeah, I mean, it's for a lot of reasons. I mean, you have um, accessibility, you have affordability of hearing devices, you have the, the stigma, the denial, the, um, the vanity issues that go along with wearing um, hearing devices. Um, but, you know, it really comes down to education. People really don't understand that they have hearing loss. Um, so that is where, where we're all about. We're trying to bring access. We're trying to bring knowledge, um, awareness to hearing loss. Because once you bring awareness to hearing loss, you know, it's, it's kind of like a breast cancer and the, the, the Susan B. Coleman um, Foundation. You have uh, um, colon cancer. You have all of these health conditions that's really have awareness over the past decade or so. That's really brought a lot of these uh, these conditions more to you know more to the surface. Yeah. Well, and interesting that there was legislation just recently passed that allows for more options, some over the counter options where you don't have to go to a professional, and that could be a more cost effective solution for some people. Absolutely. Yeah, that was, that was a big, huge advancement over the past uh, couple of years. Um, they, you know, right now, as of now, the, the OTC law has not, the OTC law has been passed, but it has, the FDA, due to COVID, has delayed the regulations to, to, to get them out. It was actually supposed to be out August of last year. Um, but because of COVID, you know, the FDA has been really busy, obviously, totally understandable. So that is where, where, where we've, uh, you know, um, right now, there is two classifications, PSAPs, personal sound amplifying products, and um, FDA registered hearing aids. Interscope actually has both those. We have PSAPs and FDA registered hearing aids as of now that are um, app controlled, they're Bluetooth, they're um, uh, self-adjusting that, uh, you know, connecting with our, our hearing specialist in our corporate office here in just outside of Sacramento, California, that someone can actually um, buy one of our devices right now. We, our professionals actually uh, do initial programming on these devices, send them to the consumer, and then th then through the cloud, our, our specialists can actually remotely um, adjust the devices anywhere in the world. That is where that's where Interscope really does allow to bring the that 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 um, amplification and that those these premium products to the consumers with um, uh, at those lower costs. Well, and I imagine, I mean, the number's around 40 million now, but we're an aging society. Uh, people are living longer. I would imagine that market would only get bigger. Like, how are you addressing that expectation? Yeah, great question. I mean, we're, we're really growing. We have our own e-commerce. We're, we're already um, a wholesaler with Walmart. Um, you know, our products are on walmart.com right now. We are hooking ourselves up with many, many retailers. You know, pretty much every retailer you can think of or big pharmacy you can think of, and even local and regional pharmacies, we're connecting with them right now to offer our products on their website, um, on their shelves, um, once further clarification of the over-the-counter um, uh, hearing devices become uh, active. Um, but really, you know, which is fantastic news right now is that we actually recently just signed a wholesale arrangement 
uh, to offer our products with BJ's Wholesale Club. This is a brand new thing we've been working on for nearly a year right now. Now, you mentioned something earlier about people are in denial. You know, like, it's kind of like an acknowledgement. Okay, we're getting older. I mean, I have to deal with reading glasses and all that stuff. So, um, and, and people still have this image of like, oh, it's grandpa and you got like this ugly thing in your ear and stuff. I mean, but it is not like that anymore, right? It is not. I mean, these devices are so advanced right now. I mean, basically our hearing devices are as powerful as a three to four year old computer. I mean, we have three to four year old computers right now. I mean, our devices pr process thousands of, uh, of, of sound bits of information um, on, um, per second. I mean, our devices using our app control, um, app control because we have an app, it's on the um, Apple App Store, it's on the Google Play Store that someone can download the app. They can actually take their, their, their own hearing test, um, hearing screening through the app. Um, as, and then this app will allow them to control their devices as well as connect with our audiologist and our hearing specialist um, anywhere in the world. I mean, these devices are so advanced they're, they're virtually invisible and, and really help the, the hearing impaired, you know, get back to living again. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. And very interesting. Um, I didn't realize all the technology involved in hearing amplification. So um, very, very interesting. Thank you so much, Matthew, for joining us. Thank you for having me.